Feels really good. Yeah, you know, it, it's living up to expectation, you know. Hi guys, this is Matt and welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got another head-to-head -head coming up for you in the TaylorMade P770 against the Shrixen ZX7. Two popular irons leading the market in this category of golfer, which is typically for low handicap golfers still looking to get some level of distance but more importantly getting some nice feel okay and, and really distance control as well so we're going to hit five shots with each club um really you know what i'm looking at initially is is obviously the looks because i think for this type of golfer it's got to look nice um down in that playing position the 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 tailor made looks a little better on the eye in terms of Slightly thinner top line. Um, Shrixen still looks nice. I think the whole range of Shrixen looks great this year. Um, but you know, in, in the playing position, um, I'd probably edge the tailor made from from behind, sort of on the uh, the, the the backside of the head on the sole here. Um, again, it is always preference. Um, Shrixen looks great. I think it looks really sort of neat, um, as does the 770. Uh, but if I had to pick one, I think the TaylorMade probably just edges it. Let's hit a few shots with each club. Um, really what I'm looking at, what, what I'm looking at here is, can I control the distance? Can I control the spin? Can I keep the dispersion pretty tight? Because, you know, if you're, I would say, seven eight handicap and below and you're looking potentially at a club like this you're looking at something that's going to control the, the distance control the spin not get any flyers um because i am keen to see especially in the in the tailor made here the 770 is essentially the 790s uh, big brother if you like where it's for the better player um but it's got the speed foam air and so they're trying to get some speed but we need that level of consistency around it so Let's hit five shots. Let's see how it feels and performs. As I say, playing position looks really good. Just pulled that a touch, not a bad distance. That one felt nice. That felt great. Good spin there at sort of 6'4", 172, so yeah, pretty good. Um, in terms of loft, we've got the TaylorMade at 33, we've got the Shrixen at 32, so a little stronger in the Shrixen. Bear that in mind with the distances. Not a great strike there, but still a level of forgiveness. Only dropped four yards compared to that, that previous one on the carry. So they've got this speed foam air, so it's, it's there to help with a little bit of forgiveness. Uh, it feels quite hollow. Um, it's got this sort of hollow body construction. It's a forged face, but it is quite hollow. You, you can feel that when, you, when you're striking it. That felt nice. Yeah, good, good carry there. But again, good spin, which for me on this type of golfer, that's what you need. You, you need, still need it spinning at about sort of 6,000 to get that, that stopping power and, and to avoid those flyers as well. Yeah, another decent one there. So that was pleasing, you know, from, from shot to shot there, I felt like there wasn't that much variance in the, in the carry distance. And as I said, that's what you need. If, if I'm saying that this is going about 170 carry, I don't want it jumping. To 190 and I'm a bad one I don't want dropping off too much and this is where this type of club sort of fits in really so let's switch to the Shrixen okay so Shrixen ZX7 I, I think I, I said in my previous video actually if you've not seen it do check it out that's P790 against the ZX5 okay this is ZX7 which is boy better player and um, slightly smaller head um, and, and I just feel like Shrixen have done a great job this year in the looks. I, I like the continuity they've got between the four, five, and seven. So, and, and again, I'm seeing a lot of combo sets 
um, where people are getting a bit more help in the longer irons, a bit more control in the shorter irons. So ZX7, again, it, it, it's, it's been super popular, but let's compare it here to the 770. Um, it's a little chunkier than the 770 on the eye, but obviously compared to the ZX5, it's a bit smaller. Quite a good sort of blade length there, so I've got a bit of confidence in terms of the forgiveness. Yeah. That feels really good. Uh, quite different to the 770. It's not as hollow. Um, it felt a bit more solid, to be honest. Again, it's a forced head again. Yeah, nice. Decent spin there. As I said, bear in mind, this is 32 compared to the 770 at 33. Feels really good. Yeah, you know, it, it's living up to expectation. You know, ZX5 was great in the, in the previous review. ZX7 again, feels great. And it still feels fairly forgiving as well. Um, I almost thought it wasn't going to be that forgiving, but bear in mind, you know, you've got the level up from this again, which is your Z Forge. So that's more like a blade, which you'd see a lot of the tour players using. You might see some of them using the long irons in this. Let's try one more. Yeah, feels good. It feels solid. It feels quite forgiving actually, you know. I think having hit both of these clubs, I actually think I've always had seven to eight handicap at the start. I actually feel like if you're an 11, 12, 13 handicapper and you're a relatively decent ball striker, this I think it'd be it'd be worth worth trying for sure. Um let's let's have a look at the dispersion. I do think sort of feel-wise, um that they, they were quite different. The, the 770 sort of felt hollow. Uh, ZX7 felt a bit more solid, so I'd probably say ZX7 won it for me on feel. Um, dispersion, okay, so actually the 770 was a bit straighter. You can see there that those balls are, are gravitating more towards the middle. Um, I don't like those kind of long and lefts from the, the ZX7. That for me suggests it's going to be left of the green and you know, possibly short-siding yourself on a, on a long left. Um, so I don't particularly like that. Okay, now into the, the numbers. So we've got 770 at the bottom, ZX7 at the top. Uh, club speed, 88 on, on both. Um, ball speed, interesting. You know, quite a bit quicker with the, the ZX7 there. Um, two miles an hour nearly. Again, the loft, although it's only one degree, can contribute. You can see with the smash, Seem to be hitting that Shrixen a bit better. Um, launch, slightly lower, possibly the loft. Uh, and again, spin, we've got 5.8 and, and just under 5.5 five there with the, the Shrixen. Um, distance wise, 171 carry to 178 with the Shrixen. So quite a big uh, jump with that. Um, and then we've got, you know, plus or minus 16 feet, plus or minus 16 feet. So. What I would say on that side, you've got an average of 16 feet left with the 770 and 29 feet left with the ZX7. So if we're looking at, at that as a, as a whole and as a comparison, if it was based on five shots, which clearly if, you, if you're having a fitting, you, you're clearly going to have a lot more shots than that. I would favour the 770 based on the accuracy. But if, if distance is more what you're looking for, Surprisingly, ZX7 went quite a bit further. Um, so, based that on 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 how you read your own game, um, two clubs definitely worth trying this in this market. As always, guys, if you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. Post any comments down the down below, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon.